Chug the cannons, chug the cannons, boom, 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 we are not pirates. <gasps> but apparently we're singers, as we got called out yeah. in the last episode. Yeah, no, apparently. Yeah. I mean, our, our number one hit single, Chudley Cannons, boom, 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 boom. slated to release eventually. No, it's already on my Instagram. Oh, yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah, there you go. That's it, that's it. That's right, it's gonna go platinum or webby or something. Yeah, you know, we'll, <laughs> yeah. we will be famous for it's the fact go, that it was a one-take wonder. It's gonna be Grammy. Pretty much, like yeah. Insta, yep. Grammy. They'll, they'll, they'll probably basically make a Broadway, a Broadway it's, it's, show. It's an instant Grammy. Yeah. Yeah, an Instagram. An Instagram. Uh, <laughs> an Instagram. As I like to call it. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's uh, jump into today's match against the Bombers, who are the number three team. So, man. Ooh, oh, man. Even, even though we beat the Express, we did not move past them in the rankings. We yeah. still have a two-game buffer on us. I know, I know. So we only clogged back a single game. You know, what makes me worried about that is almost like in regular season play when two rivals, you know, go face-to-face, -face, mm. I feel like very frequently both teams will win one game. Oh, boy. That is, that was, well, that was the case for the Redskins this past weekend. <laughs> not that anyone really cares. Not that. <laughs> Colt McCoy could not get it done. Oh! oh someone oh, no, finish it! No! Oh! Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I doubt many of our followers are also Redskins fans, because, I mean, how many could there even be? <laughs> this episode is brought to you by the NFL. <laughs> I wish. That would be interesting. That, that would be great, great. yeah. I mean, there was that whole episode of South Park where the, uh... They made fun of the Washington Redskins because didn't they lose they lost, their copyright? Yeah, yep, they did. That was a really funny episode. But man, I cannot believe I had no boost. It was like, how is no one getting the ball? Can I please get to the goal? No! Oh my goodness. Slow motion. Oh man. Slow All right, so somebody please explain the Redskins copyright thing. Oh, so basically, I think as a um, their patent or something, whatever their trademark got. Uh, for the logo, the image of the, uh, like, the, the mascot on the side of the helmet. Yeah. The, the Native American. Yep, sure, sure. Um, when it came up for renewal, basically, yeah. the trademark office refused to do it, uh, kind of an in, inside of the vein of it's an inappropriate name. Sure. And okay. so now, like, you or I could legally go put the Redskins logo on the side of a mug and sell it for profit and not have to fear any damage or legal ramification from the actual Fascinating. NFL. Fascinating. Yep. Really? You know, yep. all right, so so for for some perspective on this particular topic uh, and where it could be, you know, applied in a more relatable manner, uh, Roanoke, once upon a time, put on a Harry Potter festival oh. that, like, exploded. They yes. they set it up. They weren't even going to charge yeah. people to Did come you guys know to people it. People like Harry Potter. People like Harry Potter. But it was like a local, oh, oh, like, I, I, just, take I should have, I, anyway, go ahead. It was a local children's magazine that put on the event. Like, it was not like a, a big ticket affair or anything. And right. within the first day, they had 15,000 people sign up from all over, like, the, like country. the country. yeah. And it was like this crazy event that, like, took over downtown Roanoke. And eventually, I think they charged, like, $5 per oh, ticket. Oh, go in, go in, go in, go in, no! no! Are you kidding? That couldn't have gone closer to going in. We're not going in. <laughs> Sorry, I've interrupted your story over and over. There we go. That's okay. Oh, yeah, you got um, that goal, sure. Yeah, well, you know, you were too busy interrupting me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me oh, Darren it... for the fight. <laughs> and then, cut it in play. Boom! Yeah, Stick. there it is. Um, but anyway, uh, so I, I guess the folks over at Harry Potter, aka probably Warner Brothers, found out about the event and totally uh, shut it down after its first run. So it was like. We had one year of a big time Harry Potter festival in Roanoke, Virginia, which was honestly like well put together and very fun. Yeah, and um, then, oh my gosh, what was the name of it the next year? Like the, the generic magic the festival. Gene they like, I think they thought that would be funny. Like, oh, everyone will think, see what we're doing. Like making fun of the fact that they won't let us use Harry Potter. They won't let Potter. us use Harry Potter, so we'll call it the generic magic festival. Oh my God, dumbest. Dumbest move ever, because oh. the, the other name was going to be like Diagon, Diagon Valley, valley. <laughs> which we live in a valley. It's so, like the yeah. Roanoke Valley is literally what it's called. So, so oh know. man, that would have been a great name. Yeah. Good name. Yeah, honestly, hearing that name, I would think that it had something to do with like Magic the Card Game. Yeah, yeah. Or like uh, close up, you know, sleight of hand. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, that's that's what it really sounds like. <laughs> Yep, could have done better. But, but not good close up sleight of hand. Generic. <laughs> <laughs> generic, <laughs> generic. That's funny. Well, now that we've chatted about <laughs> copyright for the last oh! three minutes. Hey, copyright's a fascinating topic. It, it kind of is. It actually is. Uh, yeah. So anyway, 
If anyone wants to go start their own company called the Washington Redskins, it's available. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Although, I don't think you'll be well received. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Especially because I'm pretty sure that the South Park episode, they uh, tell people to go hack themselves. Um, and that pops up if you search Washington Redskins as like the second result. Oh, you hack yourself? Uh, oh, something like words. that. Something yeah. like that. But yeah. South Park. A less oh, Super Carlin geez. Brothers friendly version of it. Yep. Oh, um, oh boy. Jordan, can we get a question? Yes, we can. Yeah. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> Alright, so this question is from Ethan. Ethan says, hey. Oh, oh, oh my are you? I got a save, apparently. Uh, kind of. But, yeah. but then they scored. Yeah. Uh, Ethan says, hey, Jay, yeah, Ben, DK, and Jordan. I'm a senior in high school and already enrolled to go to college. The senioritis is hitting me really early because some of my close friends have already graduated and go to the college I applied to. Oh, nice. How do I enjoy the rest of my senior year while still being excited for the future? So oh, just man. a senioritis question. Did you guys explain just senioritis? So uh, hard. Really? I mean, I don't know. People like, I don't know. People complain about it. Senioritis is something to be enjoyed. It's just like, like the state, I, I guess it depends on what your situation is. Like. For most people, it's because they've already been accepted, and so it's like school has become well, a little like pointless. <laughs> and yet, you still have to like continue to like what like what your motivation to get good grades has like uh, ceased to exist because yeah. you're already in college. But also maybe you well one remember that I suppose if you get bad enough grades, your college could decide like they're going to revoke you or something. They say that I have a feeling that's like reserved exclusively for like Ivy League schools. Sure. Yeah. Um, like where they have like a reputation to with like uphold. Sure. And GPAs are very heavily advertised and mm -hmm. um, you know like if you if you really tanked it right there at the end. Although it doesn't seem likely that somebody going to one of those schools would have that happen to them. Yeah. <clears throat> But yeah, no, I, I, I hear what you're saying. It's the entire like senior year of high school is kind of odd because you apply to colleges your junior year. Yep. Right. Um, so it, it, there is sort of an inherent like, what what is there kind of like right. left to do? Well, the obvious one of the answers I know a lot of people do, and I'm not sure if they're doing it specifically to combat senioritis or whatever, but it's just take a bunch of electives that are super easy. <laughs> like, you know, like, make it so that your classes are all basically gym, as <laughs> much as you can. But take the classes that you want to. Yeah, take the classes you want, and then it's just like, that'll take a ton of pressure off of you, first of all. I mean, I'm sure you're still going to take your core classes or whatever, but as much as you can, just avoid work. Avoid you know? work. <laughs> that's the answer. I think that's the opposite of what I did my senior year of high school, mm -hmm. where I, I was working two jobs and did year-round sports and... I was way too busy. The answer, though, is that you are in the prime situation realistically. So this happens in the adult world, too, where uh, every now and then I'll know someone, or I've even been in the situation, where you have already accepted another job, but you haven't left your current job. Oh, <laughs> right? And so, yeah, like, you're, year. right, so you're, like, in this situation where you... The, the need to impress anyone at this job has gone out the window. The need to get any really important project that's gonna do, uh, that's gonna be really stressful for you, done before you leave, mm, what's the point? You know, uh, and this is, this is great because you can basically do anything you want at work as long as you get like the very minimal amount done. Mm -hmm. And on that note, we're going to cut to today's sponsor for people who do way more than the minimal amount. <laughs> yeah. The sponsor of today's episode is Annalise, a.k.a. Dr. Brandt, who says, It's our choices, Harry, that show what we truly are, far more than our abilities. Oh, man, what a great Star Trek quote. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Brandt coming in great. I love sci-fi. <laughs> <laughs> That's for Harry Potter. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. What was the quote? Read it, let's uh, read it, it is, again. It is our choices, Harry, that show what we truly are far more than our abilities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The wise words from Harry and the Hendersons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, Dumbledore. No, it's a, it's a fantastic sentiment, though. I mean, it's, it's sort of this action speak louder than abilities. <laughs> yes. You know, trope. <laughs> Actions be louder than words is what I was going for. Yeah, no. I, yeah. This is more. Yeah. <laughs> Derek's <laughs> like, I was with him. I followed. Yeah. <laughs> it just wasn't that good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this has got to be um, Chamber of Secrets. Post Chamber of Secrets. 
Yes. Right? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's yeah. like, I should have been in Slytherin. He's like, but you chose Gryffindor, Harry. You chose Gryffindor. And our Ooh, choices is. are more important than... That's, that's right. Stuff. But, spoiler alert, your son's in Slytherin, so deal with that! Anyway. It is an interesting thought, though, like, to what extent do you hold people responsible for the decisions that they made regardless of the, like, surrounding circumstances? Like, so I'm, I'm actually watching a television show right now where yeah. so frequently, it's Suits, uh, I'm gonna <laughs> say it's about lawyers, but so frequently it will be the case where somebody is completely backed against the wall, they have no other option, and so they, like, cave into the pressure of like the surrounding situation and everyone else will have zero sympathy for zero it's like, sympathy it's like you went back on your word you said you were going to do something and then you didn't it's oh, like man. i don't care if oh, your back man. was against the wall you stick to your guns yep yep that's how it is i'm watching uh arrow right now oh. yeah so just about the same caliber of tv <laughs> <laughs> and one of the characters is a is a apparently they're tipped off that one of the team has turned Oliver in, and they're like, what? So they like, he eventually reveals who he is that did it, and he says like, like they sat me down, they said they already had enough proof to get you, they were gonna get me too, but if I told them, if I confirmed the information they already knew, then like, I would get to like, not be put in prison and taken away from my daughter. And they're all like, how could you? It's right. just like you're in an impossible situation. And then, of course, by like, you know, 20 minutes later, they're all like, we should give him another chance. Mm -hmm. And it goes great. Anyway, we should play the dragons. We spent a lot of yeah. time on the sponsor message. Thank you, Dr. Brandt, for your sponsoring of this episode. If you would like to be a sponsor of an episode, you can go to patreon.com slash Gaming. It's the $25 level, and me and Ben can give you a shout out for pretty much whatever you want. You can pretty much get us to say <laughs> whatever, which is really like the power's in your court. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> That is, that is very true. Just like the ball is on our side of the field. Uh, jumping back to our question about senioritis. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, that's what we were talking did, about. Did any of you guys massively suffer from senioritis? Ben, you said you did the opposite. Yeah, I was super busy in high school and even in college, I think that I, I was finally to like my, my classes that were the appropriate level of challenging to where I wasn't mm. bored and um, that was huge for oh, me. Oh no, so, we boom? I boom then. Yeah. You boom. Aha, oh, uh -huh, right. so we have a net boom. <laughs> um, that doesn't work in our favor <laughs> anyway, though. Oh! So well, actually, that does. <laughs> I found out my, my going, going into my senior year, after my junior year's slate of courses, that I could double major if I took extra classes mm -hmm. uh, my final two semesters. And so instead of being senior I took on as much work as possible. <laughs> well, see, college is different than high school. True. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. It, I mean, I assume, like, I wonder how what the effect would have been had, like, you decided to double major and then before the end of your senior year, you got hired by some impressive business that didn't really care. They so, were like, we're hiring you anyway because we already know you. And and, and that's not the major aquariums out of... Dale right, Virginia. right. That isn't a company uh, owned by you. Sure, sure. <laughs> which yeah. is ultimately uh, spoilers. Who hired me? Right, it was the company owned by me. Yeah, it's a good thing you got all these impressive majors, but I don't think anyone. Uh, <laughs> I've never been hired. You've never been hired. <laughs> <laughs> good thing to put it on a resume. <laughs> oh, I am impressive self. I might not have trusted myself to run this business otherwise. <laughs> Although actually, your uh, expertise in many of these things is uh, extremely yeah. helpful. Absolutely. <clears throat> Um, the senioritis that I experienced in high school, midway through junior year, I seriously considered and like had a discussion with our like uh, college counselor or whatever his official title was, and I was like, hi, can I like drop out of school, take the GED and start college a year early? <laughs> he was like, technically you can, and I'm going to strongly advise against it. Um, okay. But I like genuinely considered that and looked into it and applied to a couple of schools that I would have been entering a year early. Uh, um, I ultimately decided to not though because nobody offered me any sort of scholarship. Backwards goal. Backwards hey, that's goal. a and, new one. Ah, wow, that's really nice. cool. Nice. <laughs> um, and so it just didn't make sense to like already be going into debt at the age of 17. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it's way better to wait until you're 18 to go into debt. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit. Uh, well, I mean, that. because I ended up finishing all of my classes and stuff, I did get Whoop. some scholarships for college, so I didn't go into as much debt. 
Ah, uh, yes, that makes sense. So that that, that helped a lot. Yeah, so then you could like use your senior year to basically like apply for college for mm -hmm. scholarships. Yeah. Literally, that's what Which, I did. Which uh, yeah. ten out of ten would recommend. Day. Did not do. Would recommend. Yeah, I didn't do that really at all. Um, I really. I, you know, it didn't even like, it wasn't ever like well explained to me that it was like even an option thing. Like growing up, it seemed like scholarships were something that, not even something you could apply for, just something that were like granted or like you won or something. Yeah, right. Like, right. Like, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> there like was you this... won a one in a million contest and you got right. lots of money. And... Yeah. Yeah, but not I, like. I don't think people adequately explained the scholarships to me at any point. Like I remember oh, going to this on. ceremony where they were like presenting all the different things people had won or whatever. And I was like, how did you even know about this stuff, people? <laughs> yeah. Like, well, I, man, I just felt really dumb afterwards. So, yes, apply for scholarships. Yes. And um, find a super obscure counselor. ones because I do think there are scholarships that go un like ungranted. Like, like, uh, yeah. Hundreds of thousands of dollars in scholarships just unused every year. Yeah. Well, that's a bummer. Um, no, I never did the, the senioritis thing. I took a bunch of classes that I really enjoyed and like. Uh, oh, oh okay. Viper. Okay. So much for the shout out, jeez. Um, you know, like probability and statistics. Yeah. Yeah, um, always a yeah. favorite. Yeah, of, that's one of the classes I took. I think I took that year. <laughs> Scatter was plots. Fun. Was it because you wanted to get better at the Magic the Gathering? Um, yeah, no, I just had like a lot of interest in... Uh, generic Magic the Gathering? Yeah, generic, 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 generic magic. magic the Gathering. Yeah. <laughs> I took Generic Magic as a class. Oops. Well, that'd be a great class. That would be a great I class. I would take that. <clears throat> I took Woodshop. Oh, I did not. Which I, took, I like, loved. Photography. Oh man, I wish I had. Wait, Jordan, I, I I don't know. I thought the story you were going to tell us about your senioritis is that you considered being a nun briefly. Oh, that was a totally different. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> different life decision. So, so your junior year, you considered becoming a nun and possibly dropping out of high school. Uh, no, the considering being a nun was like freshman sophomore year. I went to like all of the church camps and stuff growing up. And, okay. Um, I mean, a lot of these church camps are very well designed to make you want to pursue faith as like a life Career. choice. Oh yeah, well, that's, that's, um, yeah, that's the point. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which like at the age of 13, I probably didn't realize as much as I yeah, do now. Yeah, exactly. Um, and there were actually a couple of people who I went to those camps with who did end up oh, um, like becoming priests and stuff and are very, very happy with that decision. It, in hindsight, I am glad that I did not because I'm really happy with where I am in my life now. Um, Aww. That makes us happy that, because you're is here. That is that because you're sitting next to me? <laughs> Ollie, you guys are great. Alright, thanks. You're great too, Gary. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> uh, I think we should say that. Wait, 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 um, Jokes are better when explained. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Everyone knows this. Yeah. Otherwise, yes. how would you? Otherwise, how would people get it? Right. 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 Exactly. exactly. So as long as we don't get scored on. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just okay. got a box out I got, for I eleven seconds. I clipped the edge of the thing and moved it. Yep. Okay. Are gifts better when explained? Gifts. They like can as be. in like a Christmas gift. Not like, like if, a gift. If somebody were to to uh, give you a gift. And you were like, I have no idea why you gave this to me. Oh man, that uh, probably does need some explanation. But yeah, if, if, depending on what it is, absolutely. Yeah, sure. I think that can go either way. Either it's like it <laughs> is a really off. great gift. I got the show off. Oh man, because the back of the back of the that's amazing. Yeah. Either the gift can be like really good, and it's like. Uh, Grandma, why are you giving me this wooden spoon? And it'll be like, well, here's this fascinating story, and it's actually perfect for you. And then you'll be like, oh my god, I love this wooden spoon. Um, but otherwise, it might all the time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right? Right. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, it could just be like, ah, uh, I think it could be a total fall flat as well. So oh, I yeah. Don't know. Yeah. Like a totally confused. Okay, so one thing that I've been struggling with this winter holiday, this past summer, uh, Derek gave me a game called Koob. To take, cool. on, oh, yeah. to take on my vacation with me. And actually, I think you gave it to me and I didn't realize you had given it yeah, to yeah, me. Yeah, you're just like, oh, thanks. We'll give it back to you, uh, you know, when I'm done with this uh, vacation or whatever. And I'm like, no, no, this is a good <laughs> This is, <laughs> this is <laughs> your <laughs> item yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, but totally cool. clean over my head. But the game of Koob is basically like, if you were to receive it as a gift, it's like a bag full of wooden blocks. And it would be like, 
Thanks for the box. Well, <laughs> can't wait to stack these into a <laughs> fun pattern later. Do we have another Just game? Uh, we do not. That was oh, okay. the two. So you guys are just waiting on me We're to finish We're just waiting on you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so the game of Coob, though, is one that this this winter season I've debated on giving to people, like cousins, family members, because sure, I'm like, sure. it's yeah. such a fun game. But I'm also so aware of the fact that nobody's going to know what it is ah, upon opening it. Right. And it's like deterring me so hard because I don't want to give a gift and there be that like, oh, cool, thanks. Like, I can't wait to try this out. In summer. In summer, yeah. right? Yeah. Like you can't even like immediately go set it up in winter, probably. right? Yeah. Right. It's like a, a big yard game. Yeah. So like yeah. the thought process that crossed my mind was like, well, maybe I'll give it to somebody and I'll bring my set, and before we open gifts, I'll be like, guys, let's all go outside and play this game, and they'll love it. Ah. And then when they open it, it's like, what? No way! I have my own set of Coob. Dude, that could totally backfire because like, what if they don't love it? Oh, so true. Right. Impossible if you played Coob. <laughs> right. It's basically, and just throwing wooden sticks you just at each other. Casually take the gift away. Yeah. And hope they don't know. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> just you have to bring a backup. Hey, who's who's back that up last here? one for? I don't know. There's no. Hey, hey. I'm just gonna take it with me. Everyone else's <laughs> gifts seem really nice, and I just have this lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. It appears to be a crumpled $20 bill. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, let us know what gifts you have had to explain to people or have had explained to you in the comments down below after you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and ask a question for us to answer. And maybe yeah, even go to Amazon.com and order a set of Coob for one of the loved ones. K U U B, huh. obviously. Well, yeah. Yeah. Or, is it, or is it K U B B? I think it's U U. Okay, because I've never, I can't remember. <laughs> One way or another, it's it's Coob. Yeah, and yeah, you'll find it. Um, find it. It's 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 totally delightful though. Yeah. But also record the person opening it and let us know how it goes. Exactly. Oh, that sounds fun. It. Yeah. All anyway, right. until next time, guys. Chug the cannons! Chug the cannons! Boom, boom, boom! We are not pirates.